Okay. I, I, need, I need a decision here. Okay. Do I do what the game's told me to go and do? What did the game well, tell you to go do? Go to Flourish and Blots. Get nah, the go, go into the Apothecary. Alright, just go into it. Waste the, time! The, the thing is, we might end up going in here anyway later on. Yeah, but, you know. We Waste could time. go there now. Alright. But I, I, I did a three-year university course. And about halfway through year one, I realised I've bought these textbooks... None of my lecturers are using them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're actually photocopying the bits we need from the textbooks and handing them to me. Yep. <laughs> so I didn't yep. buy any for the year two and three. Now, and it all played out the same. See, that was the case for me until year four. And in year four, the textbooks that they recommended were actually really important. They're very specific ones. So things like uh, principles of social evolution and whatnot. Yes. Um, and uh, evolution of parental care. Like, they all had very important textbooks. Yeah. One of them was still written by the lecturer, uh, and but it was going into more depth than their lectures did. Hold up a second. You see that eyeball in the top right? Yeah. Is that coming out of the jar as it's moving around? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Amazing. Clipping through the. Do jar. continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was the end of the. That was the end of it. <laughs> But yeah, but so universities, you know, you do have to buy your own textbooks. And Hogwarts, you have to buy all your own tech And your own cauldron. And your everything. I'm an orphan, Dumbledore. I mean, no Why one, you do this? It's literally no, no wonder the Weasleys are known for being quite a poor family. If they have to uh, outfit seven individual children. And as we learn, each... Like teacher gets to set their own syllabus, yeah, um, which is not necessarily the same between years, especially with say the defense against the dark arts position, which is in law the position is cursed. Okay, and uh, it's famously never held for more than a year, and so each time you get a new defense against dark arts teacher, and they set their own syllabus, which happens to very. Very curiously, be incredibly involved with what the theme of this year in the, <laughs> in the book is. Well, I mean, I, I, I touched on that briefly. One of the criticisms I've heard of the series is that it's Harry Potter remembers what he did in class that morning. Mm. So literally anybody who paid attention could be the chosen one. Well, no, that's not about being the chosen one. That's just about solving whatever the current problem is. The chosen okay. one thing isn't really a factor until, like, books... Five to seven. Okay. Um, I say, and other than being a chosen one means that he's designated as the chosen one. Voldemort knows he's quote unquote the chosen one, thus targets him. Yeah. So thus, impossible knee high yeah. crates. So it's so it's uh, problems which are about him, and that's why he has to solve them because they're targeted at him. Yeah. So it's not like anyone could have solved it by paying attention because it's like, you know, it's it's directed at him. Okay. Anyone else could, but they don't. <laughs> it's, it's never going to come up. Yeah. Because it's, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that, that is just what I have heard of the series as a, a broad stroke. Yeah, I mean. Here's what's going on with the books. Like, I don't, I don't want to jump to defending this series. It's full of huge plot holes and lazy writing and all manner of garbage. What accent is that? Scot-Irish? Scor-ish? Scottish. No, Sc no, Scot- I- I- I rot. <laughs> Finest team in the league. Wouldn't Harry Potter presumably follow? What? Wouldn't he follow the the Quidditch team that he plays for? That's well, that's just no. a school team. Because yeah, his Quidditch team. It's like that's like it's your schoolhouse's Quidditch team. You you can't. Fo they're not in a league. Right, they literally only play against the other three house teams. Because, I mean, isn't it... It's like, you know, who are you supporting at the Olympics? Oh, you know, Be uh, Beckett House uh, over, like, the year 11 in Beckett yeah. House. He's going to do really well at sports day, so I'm supporting him in the Olympics. 
Fair enough. Yeah, he's. I can't get to that. I think you're gonna learn a spell. I think we're gonna get we're, a barrel spell. We're, we're, yeah, at some point. we've got to get a barrel spell at some point. But no, I, I, and isn't it that he is still on the Quidditch team, it, even if it's not specifically mentioned in the books? Like in in the background, Harry Potter is on the team. It's no, it's it's always mentioned. They there are. Me- Sorry. <laughs> there are many, uh, many lengthy, lengthy Quidditch matches, and it's an integral plot point right up until like book six, and then in book, okay. se- then in book seven, he can't be in the Quidditch team anymore because he's, you know, not in school. It's Graden Ford. Yes. He's, he's always in the team. Man, what are the odds that some people called Gamble and Japes would be running a joke shop? Yep. You never know what you might find. What are the odds? Ooh. Fake wall. I'm gonna steal I'm... your stuff. <laughs> hey, you hey, they didn't put on employees only sign. <laughs> yeah. It's like IKEA, you can use the doors that are like that look like they're for staff only but aren't labelled as stuff as such. The number of times that Aren't, aren't they the... just like the demonstrative doors? Like, you could buy this door. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the, like, for real, if you ever end up, accidentally end up in an Ikea, there's a... Um, you just accidentally go to Ikea. It, it, it can ha- Hey, it, it can happen. <laughs> um, but, no, there's... Seriously, there are, like, certain... There, there were a bunch of these in... In uh, Borgen and Burks. Yeah, I'm gonna go back there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my barrel spell first. But no, seriously, there's like doors that look they're like the industrial like double door sort of thing. Yeah. Um, that are just unmarked and don't like there's like a path behind like a load of shelves. But you can just you can use them because it means you they're the official shortcuts, but they don't label them because you want you to see everything. Oh, okay. It's like it's like top IKEA straps. You see, whenever I see that kind of door, I think to myself, I need to oh. bash through it with a trolley. Or like yeah. a, a, a crash cart or it's something. That, it's that sort of door, yeah. So it just said second year spells. So the stuff I'm doing at the moment are like first year spells, yeah. I think. Hmm. Well, there was, there was this magic tester in the Weasley's in garden. In the Weasley's, yeah. And he, and like the, the guy just said, oh yeah, oh, and it's going to open a thing here as well. It says you need a second year spells in order to do this. And now you can't escape from this room. And now we play Silent Hill 4. Oh, I see. It's there. Or we take the door. Or we take, Fine. Take the other door. Hi. Doing my Four sickles. Four sickles? I We've only got one. one. I'm going to get another one soon because I've got, there's like one outside. I already have. I, I honestly don't know what these units of currency relate to. You got the little. Like, well, no, like we've got a sickle. Is it a pound? Is it's, it ten pounds? Is it? It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I think J.K. Rowling just made it up as you went yeah. along. J.K. Rowling thought, ah, oh, yeah, let's just have denominations. It's like four brass nuts buys you a newspaper, but like it costs several galleons to buy you a broom or a book or a dog or. A <laughs> Oh, here we go. Thanks, other Hermione. <laughs> so when I got the two mixed up, I wasn't all that far wrong. That's going to be my saving grace, just because you've said that. Okay. No, that's well, that's Ginny, so she's, you know. So but she's part of the Hermione family. <laughs> Fred Hermione, George Hermione, <laughs> anyway. I know it's not her surname. Hey, standard book of spells. Wait. Wait a second. The spell that... book costs one sickle, stink pellets cost five. Yep. Also, look at this Skyrim. Absorb the dragon souls. That... So for people who don't, we've mentioned it before, the Discworld, the first two or three books relate to um, a wizard called Rincewind, who reads a magic spell book that he shouldn't have done, and a spell implants itself in his brain, effectively, and 
that is I'm just reminded of that now as we're reading this book yep and literally the characters are just leaping into our face all I have to do is run away from everything ooh uh, so do the hold down spell for Lumos now <laughs> not for too long <laughs> you hold it down and release nice it nice work guess. loser Hmm. Okay, earlier than that. Like longer than, longer than the first, but short. Like before it goes red. Oh, okay. And now it lasts for a while. Okay, yeah. So you got the sweet spot. So of the now spell. we have flares. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to search through all of the bookshelves. I've never been able to get a good flare going. I'm so upset. It's really hard to do the woo right. It is. His daughter does woos. And people keep complaining that uh, it doesn't sound right. But she what? does it better than Ric Flair. I, I think his woos doesn't sound very good. It's very kind of... I've nearly maxed out my... Uh... Woo. Oh yeah, you need a bean bag. That thing... Okay. Yeah, really this is even more Zelda. You get bigger wallets <laughs> in Zelda, <laughs> like a really uncomfortable chair to sit in. You mean this is a video game? You don't say. They're just just like drawing the parallels from with Zelda. It's just like ticking all of the boxes. Yeah, but yeah, but so do like most of the action adventure mold. It's like that's it's it's, it's different if, if there's different size wallets. Sort of thing. Of, well, on yes. that topic. I'm you curious. have storage space, and then you get something that lets lets you store. More. You get it in Resident Evil, not for money. Yeah, you get like backpacks and combat vests. Hmm. But I, I'm I'm legitimately curious to see where the series goes gameplay wise, because looking back over the first game, you've got a bit of Crash Bandicoot mm. and a little bit of Zelda and a bit of Metal Gear. Yeah, and again. Not being 100% okay, yeah. familiar with what's going on in the series, I don't know what would be the ideal game format. Connor's told us that one of them's a sandbox, some of them are cover shooters, of all things. So I'm curious to see where it goes. Yeah. This, is, this could be... We're could doing be. this for a reason. <laughs> is the reason because you both brought the same game? That's... <laughs> Yeah, I think that was what. what, what <laughs> to be yeah. fair, I was hoping to do the whole series because, you, you know. <laughs> oh, now that you got the uh, yeah, now the more powerful spell. I'm gonna go can... back to. Um, uh, I like the way Srub thinks. Mm. You've got your Ooh, level two flipendo. We've got a side quest. Side questing across the universe. <laughs> Sellotape is capitalized. That means it is name brand Sellotape. This is Spellotape. Boo! I'm gonna put myself in timeout when this recording is done for <laughs> not reading. Thanks, Ginny. Yep, we already know. If you smash them all, you get a gem at the end. Thanks, Quan. Chi. Oh, we can we can um, lock onto them now. Next question. Mm -hmm. What, broadly speaking, is the etiquette for spell casting? Like, would we now be frowned upon for just zapping stuff in public? Yes. Well, you should be. I mean, it's basically it's like if you're just doing sick kung fu or shooting a gun just on the side of the road to just complete your daily tasks. It's you just look like a bit of a burk. Okay. Uh, if you. Actually, if you do it around muggles, it's a crime. If you do it when you're a child around muggles, it's even more a crime. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> why they allow children around muggles to keep their wands is a mystery, but okay. It sounds like the kind of thing that's just asking for trouble. Where was that stack of barrels at the end of a Ooh. corridor thing? Oh, are we going to have to do every one? I'm going to do every one regardless. I think we are. But we're right next to the bank, and I think they just put all of their old money in in these barrels. That's just that. all the counterfeit money they threw out. A silver sickle. A 
I think that's one of the things that in video game design I don't like is that stuff in barrels, stuff well, no, in not stuff in barrels, stuff in all those barrels at the like, top of the thing. Did you ever play Mad World or see any of Mad World? Because they have fast talking commentators that make it really, really punchy. Yeah. But they there's like one line of dialogue for every action you can perform. <laughs> oh. And they will very often repeat it. Yeah. Like, oh, he just killed a dude with a sword. Let's get that one line that we have. And that's We got a- to the root of oh, that problem. Oh, it's locked again. Yeah, it's that sort of thing. And like I I'm all for punchy dialogue or stupid puns. The main door is locked as well, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, Lumos. I would rather there were a pool to go through rather than just the one. Too late. Already? That looks really annoying. Yeah, that's... uh, (laughs) It's not a very... uh, Hmm... I mean, admittedly, Can I'm you not. Get the... it out of the world and have a uh, have a sick light show like it's Eternal Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Just rave. Go. Have you take have out, you take Harry to an idol concert? Have you seen that uh, clip? It's uh, from Eternal Darkness. But if you have your sword enchanted and you stand near a door, mm. it just clips through the door as it would. Yeah. But then it's out where the light source for the level is, <laughs> <laughs> so the entire floor starts. Like just disco, disco flashing. <laughs> okay, so you have to go to all the things to find all of a potion vial, Ginny scales, speller tape. And you can do it in four different flavors. Go downstairs to Gamble and Japes, and you can get the quill. Now that you can open the uh, open the strength of fire. I'm gonna get the potion vial first because unless that's progression. It is progression in that it's one of the f- five side quests I've got at the moment. Well, yeah, but if that's like main story side but, quests. Oh, but it is main story side quests in that I need to do it. But I think it's... I think they're like required side cro- side quests. Yeah. So they're quests. Well, you just go like, sorry, Ginny, I don't care about your problems. <laughs> Bye. How much is the potion vial? <coughs> it costs eight sickles. Oh, that's convenient. Listen to that stock till noise. Stock till noise. Roller coaster tycoon. Thank you. Is the bottle gonna be the best item in the game? Get that highly enloached, yo. Fills you up with stamina. The Wigan Worlds in the large cauldron over there. Thanks very much. So Wigan Worlds has changed colours between games. Is that an established thing in the books. We're going to roll potion. Don't believe so. Okay. Well, at the very least, the the games are consistent with what they're doing, even if it's yeah made up made like up, made crunch up. for the games. I like that. Get the deep and involved lore of the Harry Potter games. Now, because I've been in the build, because we've had a loading screen since the last time, I bet the barrels have respawned next to Gringotts. What's the bang? It's got they've got money in again. How do you know they'll respawn? Because it's a loading screen and it's a video game. We'll see. That sounds like too many individual hey. event Yeah. That sounds like too many individual event flags for the programmers to use. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh nice! <laughs> oh nice. I I remember using this to get the um <laughs> the infinite we, beans at one point. Did we just break the economy? Loading screens broke the Someone economy. somewhere is like all of my all my barrels of money, someone's just taken all my money. <laughs> I'm actually finding more than last time. <laughs> oh, nine cents this time. Nine percent. So, do, do, do I just go in and out of buildings to just stockpile money? <laughs> maybe that's really not, boring. Maybe not on camera. No. <laughs> maybe we'll do that in a bit. Like, while this batch is processing, that's what we can do. Yeah. Just grind like, some money. Like, grinding down those sewer tunnels like we did the last time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, foreboding. Who opens a door like that? Like, no, pushing both sides of the door at once. 
If it, but it's a magic door. You don't know if it's going to open on the wrong side. It's a joke shop as well. Uh, it could open on the wrong side and be like, ah, oh, got you. Yeah, no, no, good work. Yep, I'd buy that. Now, if he does it on any other door. Yeah, all right. So you're going to have to think fast and see if we can justify literally every other <laughs> door in this game. Sting pellets. Here's a question. Hmm. You know how we found the spell tester in the Weasley's Front Garden? Yeah. Does that mean we're going to go back to the house at some point in the game? Maybe. Because it it, it seems to, again, comparing it to other games, but it seems to be doing the Metroid thing where here is a locked door at the very start and you only get the key later on in the game. Hmm, maybe. I found Hermione's quill. <laughs> You guys are the worst. Why am I the worst? Because <laughs> it's not Hermione. It's oh, G it was Ginny's. Well, yeah. <laughs> See, it's not just well, me. There's, there's possibly people who didn't watch the first one, but Andy couldn't tell the difference. Like, basically, Ron, Ron turned up, and Andy kept calling Ron Hermione. <laughs> Because it was the PS1, and everybody was kind of squashy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my excuse. Lumos. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try and get it out, out the wall. No, it doesn't work. No, it looks like... Can you, can you loop that... Uh... I like how he's aeroplane running. Like, when you've got your little flare thing up, it, he should just be going like... Nyeow. He looks uh, so excited. Just, just like baby legs. <laughs> Regular legs. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Is this game going to give you any more beans now because you've got a full one? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it just straight up won't because give me anything. Because did you just drop 20 beans by not getting into those cupboards? Like, if you had left those, could you come back to them? The thing is, as we know from the money, they're just going to respawn, so... Probably, yeah. Stink pellets. Hey, Potter? I didn't know they were Canadian. Hey. Makes a little purchase. I mean, what other country would name their children Gred and Forge? <laughs> Somewhere with wizards in it. Well, Jenny's well see, this will be the acid Geneva. test, because we... Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's just not spawning beans because we can't beans because you're full. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Harry before Potter's I... full of beans. Uh... Running about like a headless chicken. What were you saying about names before we shouted over you? HP sauce. I don't know, actually. Some, something about Ginny? Oh, no, her name's Ginevra. Okay. Is mm. it? Yep. Huh. Uh, Ron's middle name is Bilius. That sounds like it should be something. Uh, yes, it's well. For one thing, it's the name of the of the god of hangovers, I believe. No. Oh God! Do you know what? No, it's, it's the name of the of the Discworld god of drinking. I thought that the controller had disconnected, like in Broken Sword, oh. and the game just stopped. That would, yeah. <laughs> uh Broken Sword. I, I just I, honestly I just thought wait I haven't seen a save point yeah <laughs> I should probably check the save well first of all I appreciate that we can save whenever we want yeah, yeah. second of all maybe let's not make a habit of that because that took a long time alright yeah. so what's these uh, okay uh, yeah okay. actually no symbols? having said that we don't have to go back it was a shield beans and cards yeah I just don't know what the shield is something uh, we will get to later it looks like something to do with Quidditch Man, here's me talking about that dumb sport that doesn't happen. Well, it happens in this game. Yeah. They stopped doing it in the films because it's really boring scenes. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, I'm poor. Uh, could you get into the menagerie? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was... You couldn't get through the um, couldn't get through those impassable barrels. Oh yeah, but well, uh, I, they complained and said, oh, wait, look, we're closed. Go away. That's the puffer carry. I know that... For the very first movie, at least, one of the iconic shots was effectively surfing 
to catch yeah. the snitch. That's up in everything. Yeah. So I can kind of see why they would include it in that. Mm. We did but, do it in the book. But at the, at the same time, I can see why they wouldn't include it in the other movies because it, 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 it it's like watching a football match if you're not into football. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's just, it's, it's like the pod racing. It's just, it's, here's a long scene of just kind of nothing. <laughs> Buy these toys. <laughs> yep. So for Quidditch, it's like, for Quidditch in the books, you've got Harry Potter's point of view and he's looking for the snitch and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, he gets... Oh, he got I'm breaking and entering, by the way. He got elbowed in the ribs by Malfoy. <gasps> oh, what a horrible person. Following what appears to be the rules of the game. Where you can kick someone in the face and no one bats an eye or something. Yeah, isn't there a, a player whose entire... It's the Wizard of Oz! Isn't there a character whose entire role in Quidditch is to find and beat up other players? No, well, kind of. It's to have a big stick and hit what is known as a bludger, which is a big iron ball, and use the bludger to try and hit other players. The bludger seeks out and hits players on its own accord, but the beaters hit the bludger so it doesn't hit their players and hits the enemy. Okay. Because, you know, what says wonderful game for children more than a uh, possible, um, possible concussion? Wrestling is family friendly nowadays, so. But they don't they don't make children do wrestling, though, do they? They don't they don't have like. Well, no, they don't. They don't have like in your school. Okay, everyone, all okay, kids, we're going to do pile drivers today. No, they don't. Make everyone, grab a partner. <laughs> they flip don't. your partner upside down and drive his head into the ground. They don't make children do it, but like at, at the same time, a lot of mainstream wrestling is pitched such that kids can watch it. Yeah, but so is cartoons, you know. And they also don't make kids hit each other with anvils well, I mean, from, I, from Acme Company. My line of logic with that is that cartoons are very obviously not real. Yeah. Whereas wrestling purports to be real. I mean, mm. yes, kayfabe is dead and all that, right. but it... it I don't know, it makes sense in my head, and that's the only place it needs to make sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go through the I appreciate the ability to give you a look button. I, I, does Metal Gear I, do that? Or do you just magnetize the walls in that? I don't know. I don't remember. Are you not going through that door? I, it's locked. Oh. Yeah, I think you've got to push the button camera yeah. right. Is that where it is? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Quickly, while he's distracted, hit the button. Yeah, no, that looks like an obvious video game button. It is a video game button. That was an excellent sneaking mission. Yep. <laughs> I'm a pro. First prize.